JM Bricklayer Steampunk Marble Run Dinosaur Factory. Building Guide and Tutorial. Attention before installation. There are a few different types of hoses and tubes in this set. Please make sure to watch this video carefully so that you don't make any mistakes during the build. In the instruction book, you may notice that some pieces illustrations have one-to-one -one marks next to them. This means you can compare the length of the actual pieces with the printed ones to easily check if you are using the correct piece. For parts that need to be cut, you can also use it as a measurement guide to determine the length easily. The gray hose must be cut to the required length as instructed. There are silver and black rib tubes. Make sure not to confuse their colors. The rib tube must be cut to the required length as instructed. Technic Universal Joint How to install the Technic Universal Joint easily You can use some tools to make the installation easier. Similar parts When it comes to building blocks, there are many similar parts and pieces and they will easily get mistaken if you don't pay close attention to them. We've listed a few parts that are very similar. Please make sure to double check them during the building process. The one on the left is Technic Pin without friction ridges. The one on the right is Technic Pin with friction ridges. The one on the left is Plate Modified 1x1 one one with Open Clip, Vertical Grip. The one on the right is Plate Modified 1x1 one one with Open Clip, Horizontal Grip. In Step 5 to 38, the two 16L axles required are made from carbon fiber. You will find them in the unnumbered accessory bag. Do not use the normal plastic ones because for this particular step, the plastic axle is not hard enough and it will snap. Testing along the way. This set includes many gears, mechanisms, and power transmissions. It's crucial to test the power and gear transmission along the way to ensure they run smoothly. After completing bag one, Connect the motor to the battery module, turn on the power, and check if the gears run smoothly. In bag 2, once you complete the two stairways, bag 2, step 11 and bag 2, step 51, manually test them to ensure they work properly. After finishing bag 2, turn on the power to test both stairways and ensure they run smoothly. Then, manually place a ball to test the stairway's function. In bag 3, step 61, after completing the large base section, manually test it to ensure the gears, axles, and transmission are working properly. Then, install it into the set and connect it with the gear section from bag 1. Turn on the power and test to check if everything runs smoothly. Once bag 3 is complete, Turn on the power for both motors to check if everything, including the gears, stairways, and dinosaur's mouth flame, runs smoothly. In bag 4, step 48, after completing the vertical chain lift, manually test it to ensure it works properly. Once the manual test is successful, install it into the set, connect everything, and turn on the power to check if it runs smoothly. Then, manually place a ball to test its lift function and ensure it can take the ball up. Once you complete bag 5, you need to secure the top with an axle and a round plate to test the rotating lift. Follow our video instructions to install these pieces and test. Once secured, turn on the power and manually drop a ball at the rotating lift's bottom entrance to test its function. In bag 6, step 18, the first step for installing the hose track. After installing the first part of the track, manually place a ball to check if the track works properly. From this step onward, each hose track section must be manually tested after installation. Once all the hose tracks are done, manually drop a ball to test the entire track. Install hose track and mounting brackets. In step 5 to 39, 
Wrapping the rib tube around the shaft can be tricky and requires careful, patient assembly. Follow the manual illustration closely. Wrap the hose around the shaft for four laps and snap it into the pinhole at the top to secure it. Manually adjust the tube to make them even. The distance between the laps must be even. Before cutting and installing the brown hoses, ensure you have a ruler that's at least 33.46 inches or 85 centimeters long to measure the length accurately. When cutting the brown hose, there are three important things to keep in mind. Firstly, ensure you cut the length accurately as instructed. Secondly, for each step, use the original equipped hose as instructed. The hoses come in different lengths, so please avoid mixing or mistaking them. For example, in this step, use the 23.62 inches or 60 centimeters hose to match the required length. In this step, use the 11.81 inches or 30 centimeters hose. Thirdly, when cutting, please try to make the cut as flat as possible. Do not make it crooked. During the building process, you will find many mounting brackets like this. It is very important to press all clips down to the bottom before installation. Failing to do so beforehand can cause significant issues when installing the brown hoses. All mounting bracket clips must be oriented like this, ensuring consistent angles throughout. This is a correct example of installing the track. The hose ends are cut flat, and two hoses meet in the middle to create a flat track allowing the balls to pass through smoothly. When installing the hose track, make sure to keep them aligned and avoid leaving gaps between the connecting points. If there is a gap, the balls may get stuck. Ball dropping issue. To solve the ball dropping issue, turn off the power and manually place balls to check the following steps. Firstly, ensure that the hose length is cut and installed as instructed. Secondly, Check if the mounting bracket clips are in the correct angles as instructed. Thirdly, install one or more double clip snap fit pieces at the dropping position. This will fix the distance between the two lines. Double clip snap fit piece. The functions of the double clip snap fit piece. The double clip snap fit piece bridges the gap between the two hoses, preventing balls from rolling out unintentionally. Installing a double clip snap fit piece can create a slight obstruction, potentially slowing down the ball's rolling speed. Double clip snap fit piece can adjust the, the tilt angle of the track. Ball accumulation. If too many balls enter the lift's entrance simultaneously, there's a small chance they might get stuck and fail to climb. This situation is considered normal. You can manually adjust the balls if needed. Thank you for watching. If you encounter any problems or have concerns during the building process, please feel free to email us at support at jmbricklayer.com.